Now, usually a channel like this, you'd see all kinds of amazing guitars and pedals lined up behind me, but no, this is my family's kitchen pantry because I don't have a bunch of guitars and a bunch of pedals and a bunch of amplifiers to show off to you. I kind of wish I did, but I don't because I'm on a budget. I got five kids and let me tell you, I'm on a budget. <laughs> One of them's doing the dishes right now, so you're gonna hear a lot of that in the background. Hey everyone, this is Budget Band's YouTube channel where I'm just gonna review everything that you can use to get your band started on a budget. So today, I'm gonna be doing a quick review of the Fishman Loud Box. Ugh. I know it sounds heavy when I'm lifting it up, but it's only 25 pounds and it's the easiest thing to bring to your gigs. I love how the camera shakes when I shake the table. <laughs> okay, so I've had it for about four or five years now and it's awesome. You can see it's really beat up. Um, I don't know if you can... This thing just sits like, I mean, I take it everywhere. It's got some like paint dripped on here. I've got five kids, so this thing seems a lot of abuse. The handle's already kind of worn out. That's the only downside to this thing. This handle kind of wore out pretty quickly. However, you can replace it. It's not too big of a deal. I love this thing. It's perfect for smaller venues. I play acoustic guitar and I sing, so I don't need much. But what do we got here? We got an input for your guitar. Um, we've got input for a microphone and uh, all your controls that go with that. There is chorus and reverb on uh, the guitar channel, and then there's just reverb on the microphone channel. What else is there to say about it? It's pretty loud. They call it the Loud Box Mini. This thing is the smallest one in the model. As you can see next to my head, how big it is. The beautiful thing about this is you can carry it into a gig and you set it on like a bar stool or something like that. It is so easy to set up. I almost cried the first time I had this thing at my gig. I almost cried. I just want to cry thinking about it. The reason it was such a game changer for me is because I used to carry in about probably 150 pounds worth of gear. I had like this Mackie eight channel head and then I had speakers. Sometimes I'd bring two speakers because I thought I needed a monitor. With this thing, it's kind of like the Bose in the sense that you don't need the monitor, especially if you're playing a smaller venue. I just sit off to the side of me a little bit, kind of off to the side, a little bit behind me maybe, so I can hear it, but it's not directly going into my microphone so I don't get a ton of feedback. I mean, I really don't get any feedback. A ton of feedback would be horrible. I don't get any feedback. You don't need to crank it that loud, right? It's for a smaller venue. So anyway, this thing is uh, 145 watts. I mean. I don't know. I mean, Watts is kind of one of those, I think it's relative uh, based on the design, but it's plenty loud enough for like a room full of like 50 or plus people. I mean, less than 100, I think. And again, you're not like rocking the house with this thing. I mostly kind of like a restaurant, small venue type of musician, maybe a small special event, a cocktail party. Um, you know, that's for less than 100 people. This thing is perfect for that. We got two extra inputs here. There's an eighth inch, like a headphone jack size input. And then you got an extra, I think it's a, I'm not sure if it's a stereo or not. I think it's a stereo auxiliary input here, but it's like a quarter inch one. So you can go stereo. And then if you want to, and sometimes I've done this, I like the sound of this so much that sometimes I will use it almost as like a monitor. And what I'll do is I will go out of this into my main PA system, XLR. And then you're ready to rock. You got this great little monitor pointing at you, and then you can go into a bigger sound system, and it's perfect. Oh, a couple of important specs on this thing. This thing has two speakers in it. I forget the size. The main one's like, I forget, It's I think it's like a five or six inch. Just check right here, I'll post the dimensions right here. Five or six inch, but the most important thing about it is it's got a tweeter. A little tweeter. Some of these acoustic guitar amps, they have like the microphone input and they have the guitar input and they sound okay. However, they don't always have a tweeter and that always annoys me because you get that kind of still like that guitar amp, electric guitar amp sound because they've just got this one big speaker. This does not sound like that. 
This sounds like a miniature PA system. It is crisp and clear and beautiful, and I get compliments on this thing, how it sounds all the time. Other musicians who have seen me play, they've come up to me and they've asked about it, and I think I've probably sold two or three just from the gigs that I've performed at, and maybe they've bought similar Fishmen, the different larger sizes or whatnot, but it's a great system. Fishman Loud Box Mini. They make some newer versions of this, but I'm sure you can get this one. I'm sure you can get this one for around 250. I haven't done any searches on it recently. Anyway, that's why I'd recommend this. If you have any questions, you can post them in the comments. Listen, you don't have to spend thousands of dollars to get yourself out there to play music that you want to play and to have a great time doing it and sound good at the same time. Uh, even my cat agrees with me and my daughter Hannah. Say hi, Hannah. Hi. All right. Hit subscribe and like, and don't forget that notification bell. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.